Good morning, everybody. I have this huge pimple here that I'm gonna try to cover up right now. It is a beautiful Saturday today. I slept in a little bit today because I just kind of felt like my body really needed it. Do you guys ever feel that way that like your body is just like telling you that you need rest? I've learned now that I need to just like listen to it sometimes. But anyways, I slept in. Samson went to the gym this morning, but I was like rest a little bit and have like a slow morning. We are actually gonna go to a calligraphy class today. Samson's sister actually teaches this calligraphy class once a month in brooklyn and we thought it might just be kind of fun to take a class to learn she's like really really good so i'm excited to see what the class is about i've never done calligraphy i know samson has done it before and he claims to be good at it Is it similar to the calligraphy you did before? It's the same in, in terms of how you're supposed to hold it and apply pressure, but these are so much different than like brushes. What are you? Oh. Like that. I got a lot of mark on you. <laughs> We got here last night, just kind of been like settling in and we're staying here with some friends. It has been a long time since I've done like a trip with friends. So it's really nice and exciting and the place that we're staying in is literally so cute. Totally my sort of aesthetic. We're only staying here for a couple days, but there is like snowboarding and skiing around, some hiking trails, and we're just gonna kind of take it easy. I think we're gonna do a hike. We brought the dogs. We're kind of like in the middle of the woods, which I'm not really used to because at night it gets really dark, but it's just so nice and peaceful. So quiet, I slept so well last night. If you guys are interested, I will link the Airbnb down below. It's called the Barn House and it's kind of close to the Catskills. I think the ski snowboarding resort is only like 10 minutes away. I do want to try snowboarding this time, just on like the bunny slopes.
Oh, okay. <laughs> the girls are getting ready. Girls are girling. Yeah, girls are girling. We're going to a Valentine's Day dinner with our boyfriends. So we're getting ready together. Galentine's thing. What do you think your like love languages are with your significant other? I took the test. Mine is uh, physical touch. Wait, I literally never see you guys touch it. It's not like that type of physical touch. It's like I take a lot of comfort, I think, in like a hug. Like that's something I think everybody thinks yeah. is weird that my yeah. thing is physical touch because I'm not touchy. It does give me a lot of comfort. Oh, also, by the way, this is Emily, college friend. And this is Ashley. She is my high school friend. What's your love language? Words of affirmation. Oh my god. Oh, I can see that. Wait, what's yours? Mine's quality time. With friends and Samson? Yeah. That's why me and Samson are always together. <laughs> and then I think second is physical touch. Mm. Does he also take... Uh, I'll ask him. Do you take comfort in a hug? No, <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> and then he like pats me on the head sometimes. That's his physical touch. Oh, this is the blush Oh, I got this really bright one. This, I think this one... Oh! oh, 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 oh I always forget how long it's been. I mean, for you guys, it's even longer. Yeah. So we've been friends. Freshman year of high school? Yes. Freshman. Sophomore. Freshman. How do you think you, like, we maintain our friendship? Because I feel like people grow out of friendship, like, especially when they are friends from, like, high school or college. It's hard to, like, maintain that friendship as you're, like, growing and, like, changing. Like, you don't have to talk all the time every day, but it's, like, catching yeah. up. Putting the effort to chat and like catch up i definitely think like meeting up helps because mm -hmm. there was a period of time where we weren't really hanging out mm -hmm. and we kind of lost contact yeah but then we started chatting more and then like hanging out more and then yeah. that like brought us closer i feel like sometimes like friendships can be like one-sided so yes. yeah yeah like both people have to kind of put in an effort to right. meet up and be together i yeah. feel like we had phases for like some of my friends it's like if they got if they knew me in high school and they expect me to be like the same mm. as i was in high school versus like you like get to know your friend and like when they change you're like oh like it's different now, but like, yeah, like they can't expect you to be the same forever. It's nice like when you grow together. Yeah. You make more of an effort, which is nice. <laughs> <laughs> Weren't you guys like gossip girls? Like you guys called yourself like Blair and Serena. Oh yeah. We, I remember we you were told watching, me that. It was like finals week and I was like binging gossip girls. Yeah. <laughs> like, who's Blair and who's Serena? I'm Blair and she's Serena, but now she doesn't want to be Serena anymore. <laughs> so she's trying to like be Blair. <laughs> not me anymore. <laughs> she's like, Serena is the old me, Blair is the new me. <laughs> can't do my eyeliner with fog. <laughs> I think I'm done. I'm done. Yeah. Already? Okay, I think I put on eyelashes. Maybe I don't need lashes then. Yeah. Ooh, that's good. Yeah. Perfume. So, you yeah, know, what do we do when we hang out? What do you mean? We eat. And then we go smell perfume. Oh, yes. <laughs> we have a perfume obsession. I'm good. Okay, I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. Okay. Let's finish the makeup. Let's go eat.